Hi, in this video we're going to show you the virtual desktop feature of Windows 11. Uh, Windows 10 still has this as well if you're still using Windows 10. So virtual desktops are not virtual machines, so they're not another computer. So it's not like you're running a different operating system or an entirely different computer. Uh, that's something you could do with a virtual machine. So this is just a way to have an additional desktop that you could kind of keep separate from your other desktops, but all the programs that you're running on each desktop are still ran on the one single computer. All right, so you can see here we have a single desktop. And then if you have the task view button shown here, you could highlight that and do new desktop. And if you don't, you could press the Windows key and tab and then bring up that same thing. And then you could click on new desktop. So either way, and if you want the task view button to be shown, you could right click your taskbar, taskbar settings, and make sure it's turned on here. Okay, so let's show you how it works. All right, so this one desktop here, we just have one right now. I have File Explorer going here, a Web Browser, Chrome, and Microsoft Word. So what I'm going to do now is open a new virtual desktop here by clicking on New Desktop. And now you can see we have Desktop 2. And if we click on there, we have the same icons on our desktop as we do on Desktop 1. Except this one has the programs open while Desktop 2 does not. So if we were to open, let's say, Edge now, and then also Excel. Let's just do a blank workbook here. And now if we switch back to the other desktop, you could see we don't have Edge and Excel open, we just have our original apps, even though they're all running on the same computer. So it's a way where you could just kind of separate uh, your programs or your tasks onto two different desktops and just keep them uh, separate from each other. And then of course you could add more desktops as needed and then you could just toggle back and forth in between them. So now let's say we go to desktop two here. So we have Edge and Excel running, and let's say we close that desktop. So you might think it might close the programs that are running and you might lose your information, but that's not the case. So desktop two has Edge and Excel, and desktop one has File Explorer, Chrome, and Word. So we're gonna close desktop two and watch what happens. So now we just have the one desktop and you can see it transferred the open programs over to desktop one. So now we have Edge and Excel open in desktop one along with File Explorer, Chrome, and Word. So you don't have to worry about losing anything you have open in any of these other applications when you close the desktop. And then if you reboot your computer or log off, you're going to uh, close everything that's in whatever desktop you have open. So it's not gonna save them on a reboot. So once again, Task View button, if you have it, you could start it from there, or the Windows key, hold that down and press Tab. Same thing there, and then you could click on New Desktop, and then open your apps in here, and then just toggle in between them as needed and keep everything uh, separated. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.